Hi everyone, I just wanted to show you today a quick tutorial on how to register for your pupil path. So you can just type in pupil path into your browser. Okay, you are going to click to start with parent register. You are going to fill in all of this information, your personal email address. This is where the pupil path emails will go to. Um, your first name, last name for school. If you type in Myra, we will populate right up. Um, this is your student's OSIS number, and this is the registration code you received from the assistant principal. Now, once you are logged in as the parent, you can click Add Student. You are then going to, again, choose the school, type in Myra, it comes up really quick. You are going to click their birthday, their OSIS number, and the registration code you were given for the student. Please make sure that you have the correct parent code and student code. Now, once you register the student, it will bring you to a page to create a password. Please remember when you create your password, you need to have an uppercase letter, a lowercase letter, and a number when you're creating the password. If you already have, as a parent, a pupil path account, so you already have a login and you can log in, maybe you have a child in high school or in our school already, anything like that. When you log in, you're just going to click add student. So you don't need to make a new login. Okay, again, you're going to select the school, type in Myra, it'll come right up. Again, student's birthday, their ID number, which is their OSIS number, and the registration code that was given for the student. So you'll do that again for the child and set a password. Please remember to write down the password. We will not have access to that. Hi everybody, I just wanted to help you navigate your pupil path. So this is what it looks like when you are logged in. Okay, um, if you want to see your schedule, all you need to do is go over to the left and go down to class schedule. Now today is Friday, so it's showing you your schedule for today. You can actually switch that to see a schedule for any day of the week. Okay, so it's showing you Monday schedule, Tuesday schedule. However, if you want to see it as a grid, like your entire week as a schedule, you can click on the side there and then you can print this so that you have it for reference. Okay, also once we start getting into work, you will be able to see your grades for each class and your report cards will be populated on Pupil Path as well. So you won't need to get a paper copy of it. I hope that helped. Hi everybody, this is Mrs. Corio and I just wanted to show you how to log into your Google accounts. So as you can see up here in the top right hand corner, I'm already logged in. So if you have a parent or another sibling, they already may be logged in and that may be causing you a problem. So you wanna click um, up here. Okay, you can add another account or you can sign out. And you may need to just sign out right now so that's not causing any confusion. So you're going to sign out of all the accounts. Give it a second. Okay. Now you're going to click sign in. You are going to enter your Barnes account information, okay? So here's my Barnes account information and then you're going to type your password in. Once you are in, it's now linked to your Barnes account. Okay, you can access your Google Drive from here, your Google Classrooms, and your emails. Okay, if your teachers have sent you messages through Pupil Path, a lot of them need to be opened with the Barnes account. So now, once you're logged into your Barnes account, you should be able to access everything you need from your Pupil Path accounts.